An annual sports festival is held over a period of 11 days. A truck shop sells hot drinks at this festival. On each of the first, first 10 days, the owner of the truck shop recorded the temperature at 1 p.m. and the number of cups of hot drinks sold. This information is presented in the table and scattered plot below. Uh, we have the temperature for the 10 days uh, from 14, 24, 26, so on until 19 on the last day. And then the number of hot drinks, 410, 258 to 280 on the last day. And then we have our scatter plot. And then 1.1 says describe the data. So let's look at our scatter plot. On the x axis, we have the temperature. And then on the y axis, we have the number of hot drinks sold. All right. Now let's look at our data. Uh, let's ignore this point here because it's very far away from all the other points. Let's stick to these points uh, that are on a linear, that are linear, so to say. So, um, there we go, 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 there we go. Yeah, we have something like that, right? So it's easy to see now that when the temperature increases, the number of hot drinks sold is going down, right? Apart from uh, this point, which is a bit deviating, and this one, which is totally an outlier. But then the general trend, when the temperature is increasing, the number of hot drinks sold is decreasing, which makes perfect sense. You would expect people to buy less hot drinks when the temperature is increasing, right? So here, uh, the trend of the data, uh, when the temperature uh, increases, uh, the number of hot drinks sold or bought, right, uh, decreases. And then 1.2 says, uh, determine the equation of the least squares regression for the line. So we want to find uh, the equation for the least squares regression line for the data we have, right? So it's very difficult to do it manually. So we're going to resort to using a calculator. So I have two calculators with me here. The one which you can see is on my phone, right? And then the other calculator, which you cannot see, is the normal one. So what you want to do when you want to find the least square regression line, the first thing you press is mode, right? So I just pressed mode on the calculator. You can see right now. And then that menu pops up. But then on the normal case, your calculator, when you press mode, you're going to have options with numbers on them, right? It's usually one, two, three. And you want to click on the number that has stat, right? It's usually two, but not always. So I'm clicking two on the calculator, on the normal calculator. And here on the phone, I will click on the option that says stat, right? Uh, when you click that, uh, on the normal calculator, you're gonna have options from, I think, one to eight. Uh, you wanna click on the option that has A, plus bx right because that's the general formula from for the least squares regression line uh, on this scientific calculator that i have it's option number two right so i'm clicking number two but then on the calculator that you can see with your eyes here you can see that uh, a plus bx is option number five right so i'm gonna click five after i click five the screens are the same you have x and y so you're supposed to put the values for the x and then the values from the y so on the calculator that you can see let me put the values so we have 14 you press it goes to 24 uh you press it goes to uh, 26 18 um 20 28 22 17 uh 12 and 19 and then on the y values uh we have 410 uh, and then we have 258 192 uh, we have 324 324 not 321 324 we have 328 
So we have entered all our numbers, right? Uh, let me do the same thing real quick on the calculator. You can see. So after you've pressed that, after you've entered your data, you can press AC, right? So I'm gonna press AC here, and then we go back to the normal screen. I'm also pressing AC on the other calculator. So now what you want to press? You want to press Shift One, right? So let me press Shift Shift One. When I press shift one, this menu pops up. So we have a few options here. I'm going to press option three. It says regression calculate, right? And then on the normal calculator, we have, we just have REG, rig for regression, right? So on the normal calculator, you're gonna press five. So let me press regression calculate here. And then um, this calculator that I have will give you uh, the value of A and the value of B, right? And then on the normal calculator, you're going to have numbers from 1 to 5, right? Uh, 1 being number, 1 being A, and then 2 being B. But then that's not always the case. You just have to press the number for the letter you're looking for. So here on the screen, you can see, you can see that A is 488,3026, and then B is minus 10.2051. And then if I press number one on the a normal calculator, I get an A value of 488.3025641, right? Uh, they seem to be the same. And then after you've done that, you can press AC again, press shift, press one again, press regression, and then press the number that has B. And then B is also minus 10.2. 2051. Now we have A is equals to 488.3, right? And then we have B uh, being equals to minus 10.21, right? So our equation will be Y is equals to minus 10.21x plus 488.3. Point three, and that's our equation for the least squares regression line for the data. And then 1.3 says that the owner observed that he had used one liter of milk for every eight cups. So now let's say eight cups is equal to one liter of milk, right? And then it goes on to say that. Um, if the temperature at 1 p.m. on the 11th day was expected to be 17 degrees Celsius, predict the number of one liter boxes of milk the owner should buy for the 11th day. So we are given uh, the temperature on the day, right? When the temp with the temperature on the day, we can find uh, the number of cups sold right the number of hot drinks and from the number of hot drinks sold we can then find uh, the liters of milk needed so now we're going to see y is equals to minus 10.21 in place of x we put in 17 right because our x is the temperature plus 488.3 and that is giving me 314.73 uh, cups sold, right? So now I can convert uh, these cups to liters because we know that 8 cups is 1 liter. So we're going to say that uh, the boxes of milk uh, will be equals to uh, the number of cups uh, divided by 8 so we have 314.73 divided by 8 uh, which is equals to 39.34 right so yeah it seems like we're going to need 
40 boxes of milk right you cannot have a third of a box so we're gonna need 40 boxes of milk and then 1.4 says uh, let's identify an outlier in the data uh, let's go to our scatter plot you can see clearly this point here that I've circled that is very far away from the other points and then apart from that it sort of goes against common sense right because the temperature is really low here but the number of hot drinks that are sold are also very low which doesn't make sense